Welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. The Nats are doing their thing this morning, so I uh, had to go undercover. I think I felt what I wanted to feel just then. Light little tug on the line. Basically trying to catch that fish with his hand in the cookie jar. I think they're definitely eating. We're going to get one. We're lucky, we're gonna get one. Fish on. All right, black drum. They got to be 14 inches here in North Carolina, so he will not be a keeper, but uh, definitely nice to feel him pull my line. Fish on. Some nice fish. at that fish. Look at that fish. Fish almost made me fall in the water. Oh my goodness. Woo. Oh my goodness. Look at that fish. That's the biggest sheep said I have ever caught, ladies and gentlemen. That is a nice fish. OD5. Yes. Thank you, Lord.
Look at that. It's a very good thing that they have tough lip skin because I had them hooked in his top lip. And uh, he was hung. I know you saw him taking drag. So that's just, that's a beautiful fish. Um, I'm not even going to measure him. We know that's a good fish. Uh, and you know what? I might measure him for you guys. Hold on a second. Coming in right at 18 inches. This morning I'm actually working with a Carolina rig. See I have a little uh, worm weight on there, a little swivel, a little fluorocarbon leader, and about a five aught hook. So uh, that's what I'm working with. Then I have my pin battle 4000 actually this morning. And uh, my ugly stick elite so light rod makes for good action and uh, I'm happy keep watching Good little technique to get your hang loose. Doesn't work every time, but it works a lot. That's a good fish. That's a serious fish. Run me down under a rock right now. I guess I just gotta wait on. This is crazy. This is the best two sheep's head I've caught ever. Check this one out. Another beautiful fish. Not as big as the one I just caught, but wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at that fish. Coming in right about at 18 inches though. Another good fish. God is good.
God is good. That's like some kind of record. I've used my net twice this morning. And just think, this was one of those mornings I woke up, but then I didn't want to get up. <laughs> what I would have missed out on is amazing. You'll notice when I yank back, I'm yanking back with authority. Because um, I don't know if you can see the, sh the, seeing the teeth in these fish's mouths, but um, they have real teeth in there. And if you don't set that hook really good, they're swimming on about their business. There's barely any wind this morning. That's a beautiful thing for sheep's head fishing. But from a gnat's perspective, it's not such a good thing. Because when there's no wind, the gnats get busy. That's why I have my mesh on this morning, my mosquito net. And uh, it's doing a great job because I'm actually fishing in peace this morning instead of swatting and being distracted by these bugs. can't tell for sure, but I almost feel like I missed one just now. Let's see if we can get them back. I'll tell you, that last one was funny because when I yanked up on it, kind of felt stuck. Then it started moving. <laughs> I almost thought I was hung. So, Moral of the story there, if you yank up and it feels stiff, just continue to tighten your line because it might just start moving. Because those are pretty heavy fish and I imagine they're probably in the water like that. So it may feel like you're hung. So just wind it, keep it moving. Another really good fish. OD five. You gotta love a day like this. This day is legendary for me. All I can say is God is good. I don't know what I did to deserve a morning like this, but I'm so grateful. And the funny thing is, I did actually come out this morning thinking I was going to have some time with God and do a little praying. And uh, God showed up and showed out. Got three of the best sheep's head that I've ever caught on a, on a single day in my bucket. Definitely that first one, the biggest sheep's head I've ever caught. So uh, God is good.